What's up guys, XB Mods here, and in this tutorial we're going to be showing you how to connect to a JRPC tool. It's very simple, uh, I'll just go over a few of the steps now. Right, so, we're going to want these three files on your hard drive, most people already have them, it's very common for tools, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's all you need for tools. So yeah, anyway. So in your JRPC any we're gonna have hard drive slash rpc.xex in your plugin one. And yep, obviously all these are gonna be on neighborhood. So once that's done, we're gonna go onto the Xbox Games XEX menu. I'm going to go into dash launch default.xex. Right. In our plugins, we're going to have XBDM, Teapot, and JRPC 2 and 5. That's my personal preference. And obviously, with JRPC 2, that'll be Lone RPC as well, which is in plugin 1 of JRPC.ini. So, yep. Yeah, go along, save that. Reboot your console. Happy days. So then, we're going to launch a game. We're going to launch a tool. I've knocked one up quickly. Just for an example for the video. Uh, obviously, use whatever tool you like. Um, most tools, pretty similar in concept. You know, there's a button to connect. It, it is really it doesn't get much harder than that you know some tools have console managers so you can select what console in neighborhood a lot of tools they just go by what's default in neighborhood so make sure that the console you want to use is set as default in neighborhood and make sure you've got these plugins and when a tool loads up I'll show you so anyway, while we're waiting for that load up, I'm going to go to launch, and I'm going to go onto a game, which will be World at War. Alright, so here's the tool. Now. Because we have all the plugins right, when we click connect, successfully connected, and we got an X notify as well. Okay, so let's just see what we can do with these cool tools. Again, every tool is a bit different, but usually the same concept, just one button to connect, or there'll be a console manager. Uh, we can send X notifies. Hello, hi people. Ta da! We can go into console and grab console information. Won't do that because I don't want to show my CPU key. Uh, yeah. So anyway, World of War. So let's do some classes. At the moment my classes are all just random. We're going to set class names to teapot with a nice green. And as you can see, it's doing that. And we got a nice little notify again. Next, let's do stats. So I'm going to click load stats, which is going to tell me what my stats currently are. <laughs> the score is bad. And let's just do random stats. Got a nice little KD counter here as well. And then send stats. Be funny if it fail crash here, wouldn't it? Anyway, that's not gonna happen. So now the stats we just sent will be here, as you can see. Well, we haven't updated yet, but let's uh, D rank. Okay. Send stats. <laughs> KD is seventy-seven. Okay. And 
a TDM. When it loads, here we go. So, what else can we do? We can do we can do some cool things like God mode. God mode on. So clip, which binds to, I believe it's left on the D-pad. Uh, LB, okay. Uh, unlimited ammo. We can do give ammo. We're gonna reload. You can see, I got 46. Click give ammo. Got full ammo again. Do unlimited ammo. That's cool. No recoil. Give UAV. You can see that worked. So now just show that it all works. As you can see, press LB, no clipping. Yep. All good. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, it all works nicely. Let's uh, do the classes because I reset everything. There we go. Nicely done. So, thank you for watching the tutorial. That is literally it. It's so simple. I'll include the files in the description of the video for JRPC, RPC, and JRPC.ini. If you need any help, feel free to comment or join the Discord server. And I'm going to reboot the console right now as I leave. Okay, thanks for watching.